I was working late that night. I didn't mind so much because traffic out of the city was still heavy. I put my mind to the paperwork that would wrap up my last case. It was an odd one. This Joe believed he was constantly being watched as he drove, as if he was always in the spotlight. After some investigation on my part, it turned out that the passenger door wasn't closed all the way and the dome light was staying on. It was an open and shut case. I was pretty well into my report when I heard the commotion outside. It looked like I was back in business. It would just be a matter of time. the crooked line, sister. What can I do for you? Mr. Strait, there's just been a traffic crash, and I don't believe it was any accident. No accident? You're sure you're not mistaken? Why, yes. I am mistaken. Miss Shirley taken. But how did you know my Never name? mind. Did anybody call for a black and white? I don't think so. All right, then. My boyfriend Johnny and I were nearly killed back there, and I think someone tried to do it on purpose. And you want me to find out who's trying to bump you off, right? Well, look, miss. If I've seen it once, I've seen it a hundred times, and the way that I look at it is those are just the brakes. Someone tries to run us off the road, and you say it's just the brakes? What kind of a man are Easy, you? sister. I mean, they're the brakes. The brakes on the car would hit you. They're ABS. ABS? You mean analog brakes? Exactly. Johnny! Your boyfriend? Johnny, this is Mr. Strait. He's a private eye. You okay, kid? Yeah, I'm fine. No one was hurt. Lucky thing. Listen, were you being followed? Well, beside the guard downstairs, no one saw me come in here. Uh, no, I mean, was the car you were driving being followed? Oh, no. Thank goodness, sir. Who knows how big of a pileup we'd have had. Say, let me get this straight, straight. How did you know that the other car had ABS? Call it a hunch. And if I was a betting man, I'd say your car doesn't have ABS. Why don't we start at the beginning? Tell me what you both remember. Well, Johnny was driving, and we were talking and laughing, and then suddenly, a car swerved from the other lane right at us. It all happened so fast, all I could do was slam on the brake and turn the wheel. But it didn't do any good. No surprise there. Why would someone deliberately try to hit us? I've got a hunch that the other driver was in over his head, and your boyfriend hears a squealer. <gasps> now, just a minute, Mr. Strait. Johnny, a squealer? He wouldn't rat on anybody. I could see that I wasn't making myself clear, so I made arrangements for Miss Taken and her boyfriend to pay a visit to an old pal of mine. He'd set him straight. Surely. Yes? Huh? Oh, uh, nothing. Hi, Dan Strait sent us? He said we're supposed to meet up with, um, well, all he said was we're supposed to meet an old pal of his. Old pal of his? <laughs> you must be mistaken. Surely. Palamine's the name, Al Palamine. You're Johnny? Uh -huh. Yes, that's right. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'd like you both to meet my associate, Jim Brakewell. Hi. Strait told us he'd like us to show you how ABS and regular braking perform differently. Jim and I will also show you some techniques that'll make the most of each system. So. What do you say we get down to business? Sounds good. We have two cars that are the same, except one of them has an anti-lock braking system, the other one doesn't. We'll take both cars and recreate an emergency, much like the one you had. Whoa, wait, wait a minute. I'm not sure I want to go through that again. <laughs> Don't worry. We've taken away the danger. See those orange traffic cones? Think of them as the edges of the roadway. The more widely spaced cones in between are the dividing line between lanes. In this case, we're simulating a two-lane roadway with a single lane in each direction. Uh, like the road we were on. Exactly. The cones at the far end of the right lane represent a vehicle that stopped in your lane. Now, you see those three cones to the right of the lane? That'll be our designated braking point, so we can compare one car with the other. I'll be at the start point while Jim waits for you close to the braking line. So, what do you say we take a ride in the car without ABS first, the one most like your own? Ready? Ready. Ready. 
Everybody strapped in? Okay, first you'll accelerate to 35 miles per hour. Then think of those three cones as the moment when you first realize that the car in front of you has stopped. That's when you'll hit the brakes to stop as quickly as you can. Jim will catch up to you at the other end. You just slammed into the car you were trying to avoid. Notice that you also reacted by turning the steering wheel sharply in an effort to miss the obstacle in front of you. But the car kept going straight. Well, lucky for you. What do you mean? I'll show you. We'll do it again, only this time using ABS. I want you to go through the same action again. You'll accelerate to 35 miles per hour. Then hit the brakes hard at the three cones. Got it? Okay, then. Hit it. Would you mind using a different term? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Is that better? Much. Wow. Johnny drove right into the other lane. In other words, directly into oncoming traffic. If this had been real life, you and anyone in the other lane could have been killed. What could I have done differently? Well, regardless of what kind of braking system your vehicle has, never jerk the steering wheel in an effort to avoid the object in front of you. With proper braking, your vehicle will respond to extreme steering, and that can send you out of control into opposing traffic or stationary object. Now we'll head back to see Alan. We'll teach you some proper braking techniques.